that it depends on the business that you're talking about, the industry, whatever industry I was talking about. And also, um, connections has a lot to do with it. It's about who you know. And mm, I, I'd say there's about maybe 15% truth to that. Um, first of all, connections doesn't come from luck. Connection goes from putting yourself out there and <laughs> meeting new people and networking and mingling. That's not luck. That's putting yourself forward. That's putting an effort in, which is work. But also, at least as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to speak on anybody else's life and their successes in the industry. I had no connections. Like, the connections I had, at least in the industry, I had no connections. The connections I had were my family and my friends and my my auntie, who's my good friend's mom. She was she told me to try out acting. That was literally the only connection I had. And it was my auntie who said you should try it out. I had no like I start I, I got where I am now without industry connections. And the connections that I, the connections that I do have now, they're they're friendships from people that I meet at well not necessarily friendships, but more acquaintances from people that I meet at events that I'm invited to based on the the show that I'm on. So I guess it just bothers me when people say that people's success is, is, that people who are successful are lucky because people who are successful put that work in and yes there are the very few people who are really successful and they just it, they their success was just given to them but i'm not about to have anybody tell me that my success was given to me because yes i had dang sure did not get all this from luck i put this work in and i continue to put my work in so i just want to let anybody know if you're about to tell me that i'm lucky colleagues who i have a blast working with everything else I put that work in and I continue to do so so that was my mini rant for the day <laughs> yes blessed see that's what I I love like I love the term blessed consider myself blessed Mexico Yo, I keep seeing these do you float things all over social media. I don't understand them. What does that mean? Is this an it reference? But yeah, I wanted to say that because I remember when I... So, I grew up in in San Diego. And when I went into the dance industry, I... I, I don't know, I just I just feel compelled to share this. When I went into the dance industry at the time, to travel back and forth with me to L.A., and we straight up, I stayed at my grandparents' house. They live in IE, which is um, California. It's near Palm Springs. I don't know. I mean, I love my grandparents. I don't, I, I, yeah. It's, it's, it's far. It's far. And um, so my mom would wake up in the morning and we'd go to this Denny's and we'd get ready in Denny's for my auditions. And I remember my first audition and my first job was for Shake It Up. And we were, we, I was part of the Highlighters crew. And that was where um, I met um, Angel Gibbs. And that was where I met Karen Boyce, Thorne. And I was kind of thrown into this thing. And that 
I got ready for my first day on my, uh, I got ready for my first day on my first job of my first audition in the bathroom of a Denny's. So, I'm not lucky. I, I, I've, I, I've had help. Definitely wouldn't be able to do it without my family, especially my mom. But I'm not lucky. I, I, I put that work in, you know what I mean? Yeah, shake it up for Disney. No, I'm not drunk. I'm just tired. I worked today. Why is it that when someone speaks truth or or anything like that, people automatically assume that they're drunk or high, man? I'm not about that life. I'm high on life. I don't, I mean, I don't judge you if you drink or smoke, but I don't do that stuff. Yeah, I'm not drunk. I just felt compelled to share that because I've been noticing people calling me lucky. And I don't know. I, don't, I just started bugging me. But I'm trying to read these. Denny's is the bomb. <laughs> Shout out to Denny's. <laughs> I can tell I'm delirious because I just start rambling. Seth the Great says, I'm working my butt off in LA. It's not luck, it's, it's me getting up at 6 a.m. Yeah, man, you go. Somebody just said, you are so lucky because they want me to get mad. <gasps> Do what rap? Yeah, uh, I think there's two underscores. Welcome to the party says, hard work and passion for what you like and you'll always succeed. Exactly. No, we're shooting, um, episode, we're shooting season four right now, still, we're on episode eight. And episode one premieres in a week! <laughs> Why do I need makeup? I need makeup because the cameras that we use, um... The cameras that we use uh, on the show, they're, they're, they're really, um, what's the word? I don't, I, my brain is dead right now. They're high definition cameras, so if I don't have makeup on, then you can see every blemish on my face. And I don't know if they really big pores, so I'm glad I'm wearing makeup. Do we film in an old courthouse building in the Bronx? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, even the guys on the show wear makeup. Um, no, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, man. The guys have to wear makeup, too. They wear powder. Sometimes they wear foundation. It's just the magic. 
the magic behind the madness, you know what I mean? I am American. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed soon so that I can wake up because I haven't. I mean, I worked out yesterday, but did I work out yesterday? I don't remember working out yesterday, and if I don't remember working out yesterday, that probably means I didn't work out yesterday. <laughs> I hate it. I hate not working out. My body feels like the, what I feel like the Michelin Man would feel like. If you'd like to think so, then yes. Different color than his neck. I noticed that too. Sammy, did you hear that? I heard a weird noise. It may be their water bowl. Let's see. Yep, it's your water bowl. Some more water! Damon! <laughs> it was their water bowl. They, um, they're, they're, uh, they're bougie cats. So, they only like moving water. They don't like still water. So we had to pay for a water fountain. We had to pay for a water fountain that moves constantly so that they would drink, so that they don't get dehydrated while we're gone all day. My grandma's on here. I love you, Grandma. If I could go anywhere in the world tomorrow, I'd probably... I'd probably go to California or Colorado. <laughs> Someone said, sup, Grandma. <laughs> sup, Grandma. Have I watched it? No. I have to have somebody with muscles next to me to watch it with. Um, because I don't like horror films. So... I need to have a very big person, big muscular person of some sort next to me so I can just hug him and just hide hide my face just in his shoulder and just be like, no, <laughs> take me to the... Do the actors have diets, or can you guys eat whatever? I mean, it's really up to the actor. The show, like, Gotham doesn't have us on a diet policy. I personally have to watch what I eat because I can't be eating dirty. Um, even when I'm, when, when I, when, when you work out, you can basically eat. It's really the diet that, it, it's your diet only. If you work out and you eat like crap, you're not going to lose weight. You're not going to gain muscle because you're putting crap into your body. So. Yes, I love Riverdale, man.
Yeah, Drew would be so fun to watch. I love him so much. His what? Him and his wife are the cutest thing. He's a Capricorn and his wife's a Gemini, so we click because I'm a Gemini too. They are the best. We were shooting this scene. It was I was with uh, Drew and some. There were some guns that were being fired and. They have, the production has this, I'm going to, after I tell this story, I'm going to come off because I think I, but, uh, they have to give out earpieces for people so that, you know, um, you don't hurt your ear, uh, ruin your ear, your, uh, ruin your hearing because of the, the sound of the gun. And so me, Aaron wasn't paying attention and Drew had his ear his earplugs, but he didn't feel like using them. So he and he was gonna try and dirt bud from him, and I put it in Aaron's shoe, and then and then um and then we started cracking up laughing because she didn't know that I put it in her shoe, and then she started trying to put it on, and her foot looked like this. And we just started cracking up laughing, and then I put another one in her shoe, but I don't think she noticed. Aaron is Bart, bro. But, yeah, um... I'm not going to, I'm going to go to bed because I'm trying to get some stuff done tomorrow. No, I'm not the prankster. I just like, I just, I have my childish moments. You know what I mean? Getting about the crack. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to go to sleep so I can wake up. That's, 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 that's the key. Consider me give you the key. Bars. Hold on. Go to bed early. Wake up early. And if you go to bed late, have the discipline to still wake up early. That's, that's, that's what, that's what I am engraving in my head. That's why I'm, that's what I am giving you. Go to sleep early so you can wake up early. And if you go to sleep late, girl, boy, still got to get up early. And then if you're tired, you take a nap later. You know what I mean? All right. Have a good night, folks. Or good morning, wherever you are. Bye. And I put it in Aaron's shoe. And then, and then, um... And then we started cracking up laughing because she didn't know that I put it in her shoe. And then she started trying to put it on. And her foot looked like this. And we just started cracking up laughing. And then I put another one in her shoe, but I don't think she noticed. Aaron is Bart, bro. But yeah, um I'm not going to I'm going to go to bed because I'm trying to get some stuff done tomorrow. No, I'm not the prankster. I just like I just I have my childish moments, you know what I mean? Getting about the crack, don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to go to sleep so I can wake up. That's, 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 that's the key. Consider me give you the key. Bars. Hold on. Go to bed early. Wake up early. And if you go to bed late, have the discipline to still wake up early. That's, that's, that's what, that's what I am engraving in my head. 
That's why I'm. That's what I'm giving you. Go to sleep early so you can wake up early. And if you go to sleep late, girl, boy, still gotta get up early. And then if you're tired, you take a nap later. You know what I mean? All right. Have a good night, folks, or good morning, wherever you are. Bye! And then, if you're tired, you take a nap later, you know what I mean? All right. Have a good night, folks, or good morning, wherever you are. Bye!